everybody and welcome back to my channel subscription boxes and more with Michelle and I finally have another one from let's make art and it is their um, art journal kit and Jesse Peterson is the um, person that you follow along in the videos uh, for for this kit and um, there's always three or four videos like one a week now though you can watch them at any time you don't have to wait for the next one to come out um, I think they all come out at the same time um, I'm behind with these I have not done the last couple that I did receive um, there's just a lot going on behind the scenes it has me um, well behind so but anyways spoil Spoiler alert, you are good at this. They always say that inside the box, and there's what it's looking like inside of there. Which one is this? Journeys. Leave your fear behind you. All right, so this one, apparently, the theme is journeys. It says this month's journal theme will explore journeys. It's all about processing both the physical and emotional journeys we take in life. Boy, do I have the physical, or physical emotional stuff going on and I just came back from a physical journey as well um, capture the delightful surprise when you travel to an awe-inspiring destination or the excitement about a new idea or a new way of thinking you gained from a good book we can celebrate the wins and the arrivals but we can also journal about the dead ends and the forks in the road because they are a part of the journey too the tags included can be used to create souvenirs for all the places you've been and hope to go. And then it tells you the ingredients or the contents of the box. So, and this card says, hey there. Oh, well, wait, let me show you this. Hello, mail mail. Um, so this says, hey there, it's your friendly reminder to set aside the to-do list to play, dabble, and paint. Art journaling can be whatever you want. The pages can be fast or slow, paintings or drawings, snippets of life pasted on a page, or pretty painted song lyrics that capture your current mood. Each month, your themed box will include a fabulous mixed media art journal, curated supplies, and art recipe cards to spark your creativity. There are two types of art recipe cards, prompt cards for journaling and technique cards to expand your art making skills. You can use one of each to make a page in your journal or use them separately as all up to you. No matter where you are on your creative journey, don't chew on that. Uh, we hope you enjoy this practice. I'm so excited you are here. Congrats on taking the first step to carve out time to be creative. Now rip open these supplies and let's play. Cheers, Jesse Peterson. And then it tells you on the other side, this um, used to come in a letter and now it's on this card. Um, it tells you how to use this box. One, watch the tutorial. And that is at, the, anybody, you don't have to um, buy the kits to watch the tutorials and learn the techniques and all of that. That's a really cool thing about Let's Make Art. Um, you know, the videos, yes, are the companion to this box, but anyone who watches the videos on YouTube can learn how to do the same techniques with their own supplies. Uh, so you go to letsmakeart.com, my dash videos, okay? and you can watch whatever videos they have and it's not just on the journaling box you can watch the watercolor box or the kids art box or whatever um two let's make art matter they uh, include a let's make art matter postcard for you to send out some good vibes you paint something on your own or join uh, uh jesse for a multi-tutorial multi-tutorial for a mini tutorial at the at the end of the month each postcard is addressed and stamped just create and drop it in the mail so they identify somebody that um needs uh, a little <laughs> a little happy mail and uh you send them to them then they they even stamp it for you and address it for you and all you have to do is do the artwork and then three sharing is caring we love seeing what you make and they want you to show it on social media 
All right, so that's all of that. So let's get inside. Here it is inside with the crinklies and they give you a muslin bag. And in there is some, if I can unbury it from the squiggly wigglies. We have, all right, there's the baggie. And the good thing about those is you can uh, paint and you know design those as well. So we have a little bottle of white gesso to prep our surfaces or whatever. We have, oh my goodness. Oh, 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 okay, it's just wiggly. All right, now, now, let's not, no, no, no. We have this size tag, manila tag. Mine's a little bent. There are two of that size. There are one, two, three, four. Looks like five of this size and three of the smaller size. And we have a couple of metal, gold metal brads here. Put those in the bag before the Mau Mau takes off with them. I don't know why I would think she would do something like that. No, not at all. All right, I'm also going to put the tags in there so that they don't get lost. But so That's neat. And then we have some acrylic paint in lemon. And mine's open. And magenta. It seems like these are the same colors that she gravitates towards all the time an ocean so seems like she you know is fond of kind of the same colors most of the time um looks like fell out a little thing of a yes paste and mine looks to be all kinds of dried out but i have a large container of yes paste so that's all right um then we have our technique cards and you can see some artwork there that uses they're using the tags and things in there but there are the prompt cards so you can use them together or separately or together and separately um here's our let's make art matter it looks like Derek Triplett is the person who we are um, sending to. Let's see if we can get closer so you can possibly see his picture. What does it say about Derek? Let's make art matter. At the age of 20, Derek was a car, in a car accident that left him paralyzed from the neck down. Prior to the accident, he was an avid long distance runner and loved being outside fishing or enjoying the beauty of nature. Even though the new trials he even through the new trials he faced, he has continued to teach the youth at his church, speaks annually to nursing students at local colleges, and is considered one of the most loyal, humble, and trustworthy people one could ever know. One of the challenges of quadriplegia is the inability to regulate your body temperature, and it can take him days to warm back up, forcing him to stay inside during winter. COVID has made it especially challenging this year, yet he continues life with a smile on his face. Let's bring the outdoors inside Derek's home through some hand-painted postcards. So I'll get that made and sent out. And as you can see, it is stamped. And if you want to send mail, hopefully you can see that address. Hopefully. There's also this uh, piece of... Um, some kind of textury like lacy fiber thing here in kind of a blue hold up your address hopefully you can pause that there and get that if you wanted to also make him something they send a, every box they send a carpe diem um art journal uh, mixed media book and underneath of it all is the papers for the projects 
so they're nice that one has like a, it's a baggage claim and it has a suitcase and i just came back from a trip so that's pretty funny see with fresh eyes embrace the unknown leave your fears behind you and this one says journey that one i read was right there here's just some lined like paper and a map and this one says discover dream unwind so and uh, globe so very nice papers i like the artwork there um i will do my best to show you what i do i like to uh actually work on it along with jesse and do the actual um project projects that she does but then i like to um instead of showing you that like you know everybody probably does um i like to recreate it um a little differently and show you what i do using the same basic techniques and things um you know but maybe put my own spin on it so that's what i will try to do i will try to show you what i do uh plus i will try to show you if i can the um let's make art matter uh for derek if i get to show you that if i get it done in time so i will get working on that as soon as i possibly can i am behind on those kits um, and I intend to get caught up as soon as I can. Things, uh, I've been sick, uh, off and on for a few weeks and, uh, my dad is currently in the hospital on a ventilator. Um, I went, just went to Ohio and thankfully I got to see him before this hit. And, um, anyway, thoughts and prayers, uh, would be much appreci appreciated. Um. So anyways, lots of things going on behind the scenes that has me behind and I, I apologize and I will show you what I can um, when I can, but I want you to see the kit at least. Um, and that goes for all the different uh, craft kits and, and maker kits and all of that. Um, I will get things made as I can and I'll put videos up of, of it made if I don't have it at the end of the video with the kit itself, uh, the unboxing, I will put it up eventually. So with that, please give me a big old thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, do you get any of the Let's Make Art kits? If not, I highly recommend, highly recommend uh, their kits, especially the art journaling, because that's one I, I mean, I did get one month of the watercolor and it's not that I don't like it. It's just for whatever reason, I really enjoy the art journaling one with the different, I always wanted to learn mixed media, and this is a way for me to do that in smaller bits instead of me trying to get everything and learn it all at once, which I'm one of those people that thinks I have to buy everything to do something all at one time. And there's no way to ever buy all of it that you will ever need. But then I go through this collecting phase where I collect, 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 but I don't ever get anything made because I'm trying to get it all at once, you know, all before I can start. And this th makes it so that I actually get a little bit, try it out, see what I like, what I don't like, learn techniques, and without going all in and all crazy. <laughs> so um, let me know, uh, do you do mixed media? Let's just talk about it. Uh, or just say hi. Also, um, please subscribe to my channel. That would really help me out. And please share my video with others so that they might find my channel and maybe they will subscribe as well. That would be, oh, that would be amazing. Thank you guys for watching and listening to me babble. And I'll see you again in a moment in another video in this video marathon. Bye guys.